Hi, welcome to the MLB Odds Couple Show for Tuesday, April 26th. I'm Peter Loshek. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. Mike Brenner, uh, we had a, I had a losing day of baseball yesterday. You had a, well, all three teams won, but two of my plays I were know. run lines, and they won by one run. run so. That's why sometimes I take the minus one run line. Let's throw up yeah. the uh, the graphic for our record. There we uh, go. On the positive side, though, uh, my tweets continue to be generally successful. Good. I, uh, you know, in MLB, uh, I got burned with the Colorado. I, I tweeted the Colorado over, which was a did bad you really? Thing. Yeah, oh, but wow. I had a couple of late uh, uh, totals tweets that were dead on. I gave uh, Dodgers. On the under, yeah, and I gave uh, the uh, the uh, the Yankees Rangers game on the under, which I also hey, mentioned. What the Yankees Harrison. looked really good. I watched that game, and I, there's just some stuff happening right now in baseball that I just did not foresee happening. And like, like what, for well, instance? Well, the Angels. I didn't think they were going to get off to this slow of a start as really? far as with their bats. And then I last night, did. I had them on the money line, and last night they pounded. You know, I should have had them on the run yeah. line, but. Pujols came out of his slump, had two dingers last night. Mike Trout's hitting three home runs last five games, so they're starting to come alive. I don't know. My sense on the Angels is it's Trout and not a whole lot else. But uh, well, let's see what uh, what you have to say about today's card. Let's start with the obvious. Creighton Kershaw, minus 300. Are you <laughs> touching that? I'm not touching no, that. No, no. Oh, come on. Come I'll on. take a minus four runs. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> right. Pete. No, that's just ridiculous, and you never know, you know. But, I mean, that guy brings the steam. He throws yeah. the, you know. Definitely. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, what, what I'm thinking about. Uh, the first one is this guy, Shelby Miller, right, okay. from Arizona, yeah. having all kinds of issues. I mentioned him in the overnight show that I did with uh, with uh, with Ian Cameron, uh, and we both agreed that we were looking at St. Louis on the first five, St. Louis on the team total over. That one came out at four and a half minus 105. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything to say about that game? Yeah, actually, it's one of my picks. There, actually, okay. I got two in that one all right, game. Let's Arizona hear brought in Miller, and they brought in Grinke to really, you know, just shape up that pitching staff, and both of them have not delivered. Even last night, Arizona gets the win, but Granke got roped, gave and who, up seven who, runs. Who, who called that in the Periscope? Remember I suggested that? I told you I, I bet the over it. seven yes. and a half. Yes, yes. And and, uh, are you going to pull the trigger today, though? Pistol I don't know. Pete? Let's hear, hear your well, analysis. Well, I'm going with the cards. I just mm -hmm. think uh, Martinez is too good of a pitcher. I like him on the money line, minus 130 for the game, but I like him on the first half run line, plus 130. Okay, well, on the game, we're going to give you minus 128 at Pinnacle. Okay, and how about the first half run line? I don't have those uh, odds here uh, printed out, uh, okay. but uh, but plus yes. 130? At Bet365, it okay. gave me plus 130. I just think they're going to be too much for Miller, and I think the Cardinals' bats will finally come alive. They're struggling also. Yeah. There's another team searching for answers, scratching their head, wondering if they should have gotten rid of John Jay. Yeah. I mean, that was I think that was a big mistake, but again, uh, but I'm cashing today on the Cardinals on the full game money line and first half. Run line. All right, I'll go with you on the uh, on the first half money line minus 135. That's only uh, I have here bet online sports betting dot ag, but there'll probably be better lines. So you're going first half money line. Yeah, I'm first going half first half line. run line. Yeah. So. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take the the pinnacle opener on whatever that is. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to take the uh, the bet online uh, minus 135. It'll be less than that. I'll take the uh, pinnacle opener on the uh, first five innings for St. Louis. So you don't think Shelby Miller is going to straighten it out at home today and uh, bring that 8.59 ERA I mean, down? That, that's that's the big question. Obviously, any any guy in the major leagues who's having those kinds of issues can always unexpectedly straighten it out at any time. Like, but guess who? Yesterday. Who? David Archer. He, oh, yeah. He threw Chris a Archer, freaking right, gem. Yeah. What a, and that was exactly what we were talking about. That but was a little bit different, though. His, it is, because he, he's, yeah. yeah, well, he's been with that team. He's been with that team. Miller's in a foreign ballpark. He's yeah. not used to I think he gets roped again today. I think it's mental. Yeah. I think I it's mean, we, we, we discussed Archer bef uh, and, and the other uh, show that we did, and we both expect, agreed that we expect to straighten out at some point. Yeah. I expect Miller to be out of the rotation in yeah. a, you know, <laughs> a month or so. But um, All right. Wow. So, yeah, if he, if he figures this out, that, that would not be a, a massive shock but I think the odds are in favor of okay. him not figuring out, and St. Len Martinez, of course, is great. All right, let's moving on. Another guy who, um, who a lot of people have been uh, you know, expecting to uh, sort of not be that good but has kept it together, at least in the stat sheet so far, is Jared Weaver. Yes. Right? Yes. I made a joke. Yeah, I said his fastball is slower than, uh, than Syndergaard's <laughs> EFIS pitch. <laughs> He, I mean, he's really lost his velocity in a significant way. He has, way. And, and it caught everybody off guard. So what they figured they would do is just work on his mechanics and try to work on a, a few more sliders and some and inside pitches. to his credit, pitches. it to, has kind um, of been okay. Well, he's 2-0 and with a yeah. 3.12 ERA, but look who he's going up against. And this guy, I, I got to tell you, he has shocked me. I thought he was going to go to KC and just get roped because when he was at Cincinnati, Volquez could not you know, put two to three consistent games together. I mean, not at one time did he do that, but now he's 3-0 and with a 1.00. 
1.46. But guess what, Pistol Pete? Mm-hmm. I think today is the day that ends, and I'm taking the I'm taking the dog, baby. Really? I'm going with the Angels. They have been so good to me. They've cashed three out of four so far. Wow. I've used them on money lines, and you know what? I just think Trout and company are picking up steam. They're picking up momentum, and uh, Volquez, I just think, is due for one bad game, and I think it's today. And, uh, and you're not you're not worried about Jared Weaver? No, I'm not. And they're in L.A.'s home park. I think that's yes. going to just be good for Weaver. And his last outing, I watched the actual whole game. And, and really? Yeah, he looked good. He really did. He looked good. And uh, Yeah, location can be everything. Exactly. And yeah. I, I think he's, he's a, a smart command. enough vet that he realizes, look, i, I got to work around this now. How do I, you know, how do I master my game without having that 90-mile-an-hour fastball? Because his he definitely lost some velocity. Yeah. Well, the line I, right now, the best line, plus 114. Yep, that's what I got right there. That Mark. is market-wide. Yes. Okay. That's number three for me. You Angels got, on the money line, baby. You got anything else? Yeah, I got one other play. One other play. Let me guess. Boston with David Price minus on the run. No, line. no, no. Boston hurt me yesterday. You're not touching that one? Well, their bats. I'm wondering what's yeah. going on with their bats. And I know Big Poppy didn't play yesterday, but still, Jesus, what, what's up with Pedroia? You know, what's up with the rest of this lineup? And uh, I think it's managing personally. I mm-hmm. think they got some issues. But I like Houston today. All right, Michael, mm-hmm. he's kind of struggled. Two and two, three point seven one. But I think today he figures it out at Seattle. And the reason I like it is because Carnes, Carnes gets roped. He's five point two eight ERA. And also, um, um, Keuchel, he dominates Cano. Now, he does struggle a bit with Nelson Cruz, and he even struggled with him when he was with Texas. But I think today he's going to get some offensive production. The 6-14 and 14 Houston Astros are scratching their head looking for answers too, Pistol Pete. Yeah, yeah, all right. So the best line there is actually Intertops minus 133. I'll take it, line shopper. Is Give me those two expecting? cents. What, what, what were you expecting? 135 is oh, what I no, had. No, it, no, no, so. 133. I'll take it. That's we'll the take line it. Intertops, and, uh, and Pinnacle has 134, so... Uh, uh, yeah, man. G bets, GT bets has one thirty four. So yeah, shop I'll around. Take you that. get to, and that's my uh, fourth and final pick today. But what else do you got? I know you well, got to be pulling the I'll, trigger. I'll, today. Th- I'll throw out one there that that I that I like uh, early on. Uh, you know, I might I might pull it, but by the time uh, first pitch, but I, I feel like I probably won't. Uh, I cashed with the under in um, in who are those teams? Cleveland and Minnesota yesterday. Yeah, and uh, you know, Nolasco is doing okay. Uh, he's serviceable, not great serviceable, yeah, can yeah. always get crushed, but in general, I think he's okay. And he's the kind of pitcher, if he gets through the first two unscathed, right. he can put together a decent five or six. That's what I've noticed about him. And Ricky then Velasco. Anderson on the other side has really been struggling, but he has had some positive signs in the past. I think it's worth yeah. a shot that he, okay. uh, that he uh, you know, uh, writes a ship a little bit here. I did take a shot with the under eight and a half. Right now, the best line is uh, Pinnacle at minus 104. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, that's uh, if their weather lineup changes, uh, that could uh, that could affect things, but um, as of right, I, that's the only bet that I made so far, and uh, I'll give that as a as a come on. You got nothing to lose, yeah, Pistol Pete. Well, you got You got you've, uh, you've been starting <laughs> to climb that hill now. Yeah. You're coming out of the abyss. So let's Cleveland keep it going. And Minnesota under eight and a half minus one hundred four, and then uh, let's see what else. Uh, I was thinking about the St. Louis team total over. It came out of Pinnacle four and a half minus one hundred five. Ooh, you know if wow. if if. if Miller doesn't have it. That'll go over in the first That'll go four over. innings. I yeah. like that. I like that. What's the team total also for the White Sox going up against Toronto? Oh, with, that was, yes, I did look at that. I uh, figured you did with Dickey. That, That's your boy, uh, Dickey. That, well, right, that was four and a half. Okay. I didn't write it down, but it was four and a half. Because, you so, know, you got uh, Chris yeah, Sale right, on, the, right, on right. the mound for Chicago. That's going to be an interesting game. I thought about that as well, but um, all right, let me think. Do I want to go with the, with the St. Louis team total over four and a half? No, I'll pass on it. I'll okay. Pass. I'll pass. Right. I got it. Tomorrow you're going to kick yourself in the ass. You're going to have that boot with the string pulling it, kicking your no, because I'm already on a, a yeah. failure by Miller at, uh, in the first half with you. So, so uh, hey, I know it's early in the yeah. season. I know you're yeah. coming back off of vacation. But yeah. how are you feeling with your production thus far in MLB? And I oh, know great. it's early, Pistol Pete. Are you kidding? I'm, uh, and, and, and uh, Well, I can't mention it because it's a competitor. But okay. where, where I track my picks, uh, about 60% in totals. Okay. Which yeah. is fine. Good for 60th place production. in that. Uh, in that mm. uh, yeah. And um, I'm, I'm slightly down on sides, but that's what I would expect. Yeah. Well, for me, you know, and I just kind of analyzed everything, so what I've been doing, I'm, I'm not satisfied. I'm above 500. Mm-hmm. I think I could do better. I think I could feel out the pitching a little bit better. But you know what? I got a feeling I'm getting ready to heat up Pistol Pete. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fired up, baby. It's MLB. I'll tell you another game that I just uh, didn't realize. That. I'm, I'm probably going to be leaning there, but I can't, I can't give it as a pick right now. But be, no, no, no. Uh, uh-huh. The Yanks and Texas under. I gave that one in our Periscope yesterday, and I, and I tweeted it out again. Who's on the mound for the Yanks? Severino, Ooh. who's a guy with, uh, you know, Hasn't quite put it together, but he has a live arm. Yes, he and then does. Griffin. I'm not a believer in Griffin, but in this case, the Yankees' offense is lethargic. And uh, eh, you know what? Maybe I should give it. Maybe Come I on, will now. just give it. All right, I'll give it. What the hell? Let's see what the best line is. I'll definitely be taking the best line. Nine minus one hundred two at minus Pinnacle. Minus one hundred two. Ooh, nine. on the under. Kind of like that. 
All right, so I got three picks. You got four picks? Yep. Review your four picks. Okay, I've got Houston today on the money line with Keuchel on the mound, minus 135. I got the Angels to cash again on the money line, giving back 114. And then I've got the Cardinals on two plays for the full game money line, minus 128. And also the first half run line, which is plus 130. All so right. I'm feeling a 4-0 day. I'm fired up, Pistol Pete, and I'm that overdue, good. baby. I'm overdue. I guess we can wrap it up for now. I got three picks, uh, Texas under. Cleveland under, and I'm with Mike Brenner on the St. Louis first five innings money line. Okay. All right. We'll nice be back for uh, the Wednesday show tomorrow. Go get them, Cardinals.